Between you and I, moments like this, when you say hello to me, it's everything. Because the room, is, it's all scattered. Then you just say, hi, Russ, and I feel great. I didn't need all of just him. Okay. Just him. No, I'm kidding, all of you. I'll tell you what, you all say hi, Russ, and then I'll give you some theater. Hi, Russ! Alica Theater! Feels good, and it feels all theatrical in here now. How is everybody? Are we excited? Yes. Amped up? Yes. Awake? Yes. Other enthusiastic words. All of those. <laughs> Hello, Space Whale. It's a little echoey. It's good. It's a big room. Echoes. Good. All right. I don't need you to say everything I say. <laughs> We didn't even start the show, man. We were almost there. All right, quick cheer for Brett Crow. Two informal announcements before we formally begin. Number one, Brett Crow provides our pre-show entertainment. Without him, we'd be in silence. That was thumbs up for Brett Crow, not for silence. And also, tonight you can get your Brett Crow Show CD for the very first time. I was number one on that bandwagon. I jumped in there and got my autographed copy. Please grab yours during the Performer's Playground. He will be set up over by the rest of our vendors. Pop by and say hello, yes? Okay, business out of the well is not really all out of the way, because now I have to talk to you about the business of theater. You're in one now. You're soaking in it, as it were. We'll wipe up when we're done. The. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been kind of insane. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm about 10 days out from launching a show you guys know about. It's called Almost Five. We've been working for months to bring this thing to you. It'll be at the Bathhouse Cultural Center. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about that tonight because we've got lots of work to do right here. But I, over the weekend, had a conversation six or seven times. And, and the idea in this conversation kept coming up so much that I wanted to share it because I thought it had great utility to anyone, both in performance and I think possibly just in life. And um, you see, I, I'm sitting in the director's seat now, which is the thought that I have friends of mine that are my peers who are coming to me and saying, I have more experience than you, I have more uh, skill than you, I, I know more than you, I'm actually your mentor, but I'm going to ask you, what should I do? That's how I feel every time they ask me the question of what should I do, because I think they're some of the most talented people I know. But they ask me, and obviously, because I'm sitting in that seat, I'm the guy who's got to come up with an answer. So I've, uh, I've been digging through my notes, things from school, things from anything anyone has ever told. If you told me something, I may have told them in hopes it might help because I am at a loss for how to tell great people how to be even better. But I did find one note that I gave them, which was this, and it was, don't round your corners. Now, if you've ever been in theater, you've heard this. Shout if you've heard that note before in your life. Yeah. A couple of people have. Don't round your corners. You see, when you first learn anything, any skill you've ever learned in your life, you're, you're a mess. You are a train wreck just trying to get through it. It's like this moment here. We're trying to get through it. It's a mess. But what happens is with a little practice, we start to smooth out. We start to find a rhythm for it. And that's good because then we suck less, and that's we, that feels great. The danger comes once you polish something to a gem that you've smoothed off all the rough edges, which is good, but then maybe you've smoothed off all the other edges too. You've taken all the little beats that make something interesting. These pauses, you know, I learned from my musician friends that sometimes not just pressing the note is important, but the little spaces between matter. Those little pauses that give shape to what we're doing. I, I certainly learned that from my spoken word friends who know that sometimes not saying a word in the right moment is more powerful than saying everything. So I have this note, and I give it to all of them, and I give it to you now. And what it's really about is if I have to walk from here to there, sure, it's a direction. i got to walk over here. That's easy. Why am I walking over there? Am I walking over there to talk to you? Because if so, there's a whole, con yeah, that seems to be what happens. There's this whole conversational thing that happened. i got to go back. I, I love that about you. Or if I walk up here, is it to talk to you? Is it to talk to the camera? Is it to make sure you guys are with me? There's reasons. Think about them. Because the fun of this, once you get all this work that you've got to do to do theater down, is to enjoy each and every one of these moments. When you get up on stage and when tonight, when you see people who have been polishing their skills for years, and you see them give you every little moment of a performance, 
That means they have practiced every little moment of that performance and made a care to keep all of the edges on what they're doing. I think that's beautiful and I think it's the magic of live theater and I think it's why we're here. I want to celebrate it. I want to thank you for coming to see it and I want to give it to you right now. You guys ready? Good. Because have we got a show for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage.